Waving Watkins Glen. Sunday evening, Juan Pablo Montoya pulled it off. Finally, took him a while, but he did it in style. Brian Patty, his crew chief, he was emotional after afterwards. Remember, Indianapolis, two years in a row. He's had the dominant car, and Juan Montoya messed up one time, and Brian Patty messed up the other time. So this win, Brian said he hopes makes up a little bit for that. It was a good win, a great day. Nice crowd, they said 90,000, that might have been a little generous, but I don't know. We think that the racing was really good between Marcus Ambrose and Juan Pablo Montoya. And just what Marcos could have done if his car had been a little better at the end, well, we'll never know. Not till next year, maybe. Mike Bowling from MikeBowling.net, coming out of Watkins Glen with Juan Montoya versus Marcus Ambrose, and Marcos had a tire equalized or something down the stretch. Boris said, Whoa, he's got a few guys angry at him. So does Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch might have been making it three wide over there in the back stretch, and Denny Hamlin wound up running into Jimmy Johnson, and those two guys were both less than pleased with what was going on. I had to see the replays to see exactly what happened, but I think one of the problems was Kyle Busch had to start dead last. Qualified 10th, but some loose weight in the car, and he had to make some changes before the green flag even fell. Started at the rear, made it up to eighth by the end. Was doing good. Had a good fast car. Not a lot of luck over there in the far stretch. Jimmy Johnson, I tell you, he's had a run of bad luck. Another bad race for him. Denny Hamlin, another bad race. Tony Stewart, he was a little hot at Boris said. Boris was running good. They were battling for eighth or ninth or something like that. Coming down into one, going into two, going up to the S's, and the next thing you know is Boris is in the wall backwards. Tony said he tried to run him out of room. I don't know, maybe so. I don't don't drive a race car, so it's kind of hard to tell, but I do know that Boris was about half car length ahead, going down that little short chute over toward the S's, and you can't go through the S's side by side, or at least most guys can't. Tony was on the outside, tried to force the issue. He wanted the outside line going into the S's. Boris wasn't going to get in the outside line going into the S's. Boris wanted a little more room going uphill. They collided. Boris got the worst of it, and that wasn't the only time that Boris drew the ire of another driver. Greg Biffle was criticizing him, too, for some bad moves. I don't know. Boris shows up. He's a good guy. Said days were here, all dressed in orange and those fright wigs. He tries to make things happen, and sometimes he makes more things happen than what he should. But <laughs> that's road course racing, like Denny Hamlin says. You'll have that at a road course. At least it wasn't as bad as Sonoma. Whoa, those guys were knocking them out out there. This thing was a relatively mild-mannered race compared to that. And Juan Pablo Montoya. He turns out to be the big winner. Juan Pablo Montoya winning Watkins Glen. Kurt Busch surprising second. Marcus Ambrose phase to third. Mike Bullen from MikeBullen.net at Watkins Glen International.